thinking of selling your home anytime soon? Stop and watch this video to learn about three major factors that could potentially affect the value of your home. Welcome back to Western Prince William Living. My name is Carol Allen and I'm a realtor with the Platinum Group at Pearson Smith Realty and I serve all of the amazing people of Prince William County and Manassas. Today we're talking about things that can affect your bottom line when reselling your home. In a market that we have, such as today's, where the inventory is low and competition is high, it's sometimes necessary for buyers to make fast decisions that may not always be the best decisions. You could fall in love with a home today, not realizing how the location or the design of the home will impact you down the road. Home buyers navigating the real estate market often have short-sighted vision and they only focus on what is going to suit their needs today and for the duration that they live at the property. Many overlook the home's future resale value and this can be a big and costly mistake when it comes time to resell the house. The truth is the location of the property, the size, layout, and condition all influence whether the home is a good investment or whether you might have resale problems later on. Here are a few things you might want to consider that will affect a home's resale value down the road. Number one is the location. Location influences the value of real estate more than anything else. Homes in a desirable location will attract a larger pool of buyers and competing buyers typically push prices up and this is exactly what you want to happen when you put your house up for sale. Is your home on a cul-de-sac or is it located at a busy intersection? Does your home back to trees or does it back to other houses? And is your house located near power lines? These are all things that could affect your resale value. Number two is the layout and configuration of the house. Regardless of the square footage and size of the house, the configuration of the rooms plays an important role in establishing your resale value. Bedrooms and bathrooms with poor layout or functionality could negatively impact the value of the property. And number three, let's talk about additions and renovations. Studies show that adding a bedroom puts your home in a higher price category. So what you might wanna consider is converting a room in your basement or maybe a loft area into a bedroom. It will give you an instant injection of equity. Quick fixes like replacing or painting cabinet doors, adding new sinks, new faucets, and lighting fixtures typically increase the value of your home as well. And it's no secret that people had to reconfigure their homes over the past year and a half to accommodate working and learning from home. Instead of putting up walls and closing in rooms, consider using French doors on existing unused formal living and dining rooms, utilizing basement space, or even putting desks in bedroom closets. You can get creative here. Even in a seller's market, the presentation of your home is critical. And at this point, you may be convinced that you need a little guidance in the area of increasing your resale value and getting your home ready for showings. You might also be thinking that you have no idea where to start. That's where I come in. I have 15 years of experience in the real estate business. I have contacts for renovations, staging, and professional photographers, and we can all work together to make your house look amazing. You wanna have your home in show ready condition before going on the market to get the best possible offer in the shortest amount of time. If you're thinking about making a move, I can help you through the process. Send me a message or you can call or text me at 703-297-1278. No pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. And finally, if you're a resident of Prince William County, I wanna invite you to like and follow my business page on Facebook. It's Western Prince William Living with Carol Allen. Join me there to learn about local events taking place in our area, my favorite restaurants, and local businesses that I think you should check out too. I also have a Facebook group called the Ladies of Gainesville. I'd love to have you join me there if you are a lady and you live near the Gainesville area. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next video.